All right, we're going to run through working with numerical data pretty quick because the only ways to deal with numerical data, your numbers, your quantitative data, is to literally analyze the numbers. Mean, median, mode, range. Okay, you learned these in sixth grade math. I'm sure Ms. Barsby taught you your song if you were at GMC last year. So we're going to run through pretty quick. Okay, so you have to make sense of the numbers by working with them. You can turn them into graphs and tables. Okay, that's very important. We already talked about graphing. Okay, but also finding mean, median, mode, and range will help them make sense. You've got a huge amount of numbers. The more you condense them and work with them, the easier they are to understand. So mean, remember that's an average. So you add up all the numbers and divide by the total number of numbers. All right. So for example, if your numbers were 2, 6, 3, 8, 9, 12, 11, and 5, when you add those all up, you got 56. There's 8 of them up there. So divide by 8, your mean, your average, is 7. So remember that the mean is the average of the numbers. Okay, median is the one that's in the middle. Put the numbers in order from smallest to largest. So get them in order. And if that's an odd number of values, it's literally the one sitting in the middle. If it's an even number of values, you add the two middle ones and divide by two. So for example, 2, 4, 7, 11, 12, 14, 17, there's seven numbers here. So the one that's sitting in the middle is 11. So the median is 11. But if it's 2, 4, 7, 11, 12, and 14, there's six numbers here. So you have to add the 2 in the middle. 7 plus 11 is 18. Divide it by 2. Your median then is going to be 9. So that's how you find the median. It's literally in the middle. The mode is the one that shows up most frequently. Which number shows up the most? So for example, if I have 3, 6, 9, 3, 5, 7, 9, 3, 6, 2, 8, 1, 3 appears three different times, and so 3 is going to be my mode. Now, if each value in a group is only seen once, so they're all the same number of times, you would actually say no mode. All right, very easy. So the one that shows up the most often is your mode, or there's no mode. And then the range is the difference between the largest number and the smallest number. All you got to do is subtract. Find your biggest number, find your smallest number, and subtract. In this group, 19 is my biggest, 3 is my smallest, so 19 minus 3, my range is 16 because there's 16 numbers between 19 and 3. All right, mean, median, mode, and range, quick review.